when one of the reactors at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded in 1986. Highly radioactive debris was scattered on and around the reactor building. Before the infamous human liquidators were sent in to clear the radioactive debris, they attempted to use robots to clear the area instead. Some of these robots are on display in an area near Chernobyl, and they are still radioactive to this day. Thanks to a few scenes in a miniseries that aired in 2019, two of the robots used at Chernobyl are more well known, but there were several others that weren't featured in the show. There isn't very much info out there about some of these robots, but I'll show you what I was able to find. The STR-1, or Specialized Transport Robot 1, was one of the more successful robots used at Chernobyl. Based on footage I've seen, at least two of these robots were deployed to Chernobyl. One appears to only have four wheels, instead of six. In the Chernobyl miniseries, they say that the STR-1 is a lunar rover. This is somewhat true. Information from the Soviet Lunar Rover Program, or Lunotod, was used to make the STR-1s. But the STR-1s themselves were not leftover lunar rovers, as some say. These robots were able to remove some debris from the roof of the reactor building, and they weren't disabled by high radiation levels like some of the other robots that were used. But these robots weren't enough to get the job done, so other robots were brought in, as we'll see. The MOBOT was developed by Moscow State University. This robot was more like a small bulldozer with a claw on the end of an arm. According to one source, one robot was sent to Chernobyl in 1986, and an improved version was used in 1987 as well. There isn't much info on how successful these robots were. Some say they did very little, but others say it was able to clear a portion of the roof and prepare it for being covered in concrete. Either way, one is on display near Chernobyl. The Joker is the only robot called by its name in the Chernobyl miniseries, but its original name was MF2, or KGH Remote Controlled Manipulator Vehicle. The best info I could find about the Joker was that it was developed in 1974 in West Germany. Many sources, including the miniseries, say it was a police robot, but I couldn't find any info to verify this. The info I did find said that it was built to work in hazardous areas, including radioactive areas. Also worth noting is that the story of the Joker in the show isn't quite accurate. The Joker got stuck on a large, radioactive piece of graphite on the roof of the reactor building. They had to send workers outside to attach a cable and use a winch to get the Joker free. But by the time they did, the radiation had already disabled it. There is some conflicting info on how much work the Joker was able to do before it got stuck. Some say it did remove some debris, but others say it didn't do much. Today, what's left of the Joker is in the vehicle graveyard near Chernobyl, and it is still highly radioactive. Another robot, the MF-3, has a similar story to the MF-2. It was built in 1976 in West Germany, for use in hazardous areas. It was much smaller than the MF-2, and was even able to go upstairs. Some of the photos I've found show it with a manipulator arm, but the one on display in Chernobyl doesn't have one. I wasn't able to find much info on how well it worked, but one source said it was disabled by high radiation levels, like the Joker was. The last robot in this video is also the biggest, as it's based on a Soviet main battle tank. The Klin-1 was based on the IMR-2 engineering vehicle, which was based on the T-72 tank. It was remotely controlled by radio. The operators were protected inside another armored vehicle. The Klin-1 was built a few months after the disaster, and it was used to move radioactive debris around the reactor building, and was also used in other areas around Chernobyl. Its final job was to dispose of contaminated vehicles in the vehicle graveyard, and after that job was done, the Klin-1 was buried underground, because it was highly contaminated. Stay tuned for part 2 of this video to see the other robots used at Chernobyl.